Hello and welcome back to CSI Wildwood. We've moved indoors to our instant room and we're going over what happened yesterday. So to recap, uh, yesterday morning our keepers discovered the body of Nutty the squirrel and we collected evidence from the crime scene around his body and we've been processing that overnight. We had three samples of fur and two feathers to identify. First sample, A. This turned out to be grey squirrel. So we're pretty sure this is actually from Nutty's body. Our second sample, B. Very distinctive, short, bristly hairs and two colours. Light at either end, darker in the middle. This is our first potential witness or suspect. This is a badger. So we know we had a badger in the crime scene area in the eight hour window. The third fur sample is a bit harder to identify. It's quite bushy, quite thick, greyish in the centre, but very faint orange-red at the tips. This is fur from a red fox. So, red fox goes up on the wall as well. Next we have the feather samples. Feather D is a medium-sized feather with very distinctive coloured bands. And judging on the size and the colour, this belongs to a tawny owl. And the final feather. Sample E is another flight feather, jet black. And the size suggests that we're looking at a feather from a raven. So this is as far as we've got. We have four animals positively identified as being in the crime scene in our eight hour window. We haven't finished processing all the evidence. There is still another two loads to go. We have samples of scat. And if you're wondering what scat is, it's also known as poo or droppings. We collected four different types of poo from the crime scene. And these are labelled F to I. We also found three different sets of tracks, footprints. We've preserved them as plaster casts. 